All right, um, listen to the sound balance on the previous video. I uh, saw that the game was a little bit quiet. I turned it up slightly. We'll see if it's any better here. Um, I just don't want it to drown me out, but uh, obviously I want the game to be able to be heard. So, what is the key elements in this experimentation? We have the table, yeah? The milk in the glass broke. Ah. This is very reminiscent of the South Park episode where, like, the cop is performing, like, complex experiments to figure out, like, like the left-hand killer, where he has, like, all the left hands on the wall or something, and he looks up at his hand, and he's like, oh, that's a right hand, and whatever, like, yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't. I can't really explain it any better than that. Point is, very long-winded, scientific crap for something really basic, and that's the joke. So here we are in, uh, I don't know if these areas have names. I think they do in, like, the chapter menu. What is that thing? Oh, that's the sunflower. Can't talk to the sunflower yet. I hear the money. Is it up there? Yeah. That's, like, one of the last things that I'll get in the area, I believe. Didn't need that. Hello, box. Why are you a thing that is alive? Alright, then. Jeez. Okay, gonna ignore the box. Again, it's like, I remember at least vaguely what the progression of events is. I know I have to do something with this uh, big box over here and, like, pieces of cheese and stuff, but I like to at least explore the area a little bit first. But I guess it'll kind of just come with the task, so. Hi, you're a rat. Or a mouse. Or something. I see you. I see you, little fella. You better get this fat-ass bitch off from my back pronto! Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me, then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is you the best voice. Freaking mouse critter. Uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. I don't know why that was so funny. Just, I say, little fella, I say that. Just, that, that freaking voice was the best thing ever. Anyway. Point is, I have to kill the mouse. Hitting it with the frying pan doesn't work, so what do we do? We feed it a bunch of cheese. Because that makes sense. What is this? Like, what is this thing here? Is this just a doorway that isn't open? I don't even know what this is. Whatever. Going over this way. And getting past the uh, jumping thwomps from Shifting Sandland. Or, those aren't thwomps, those are like grindles. Whatever. They're thwomps. Hi, you must be Bert. I'm Bert. Jack sent me. I'm opening it for you here, and you can get on with whatever that you're trying to do. What was that line reading? Get on with, with whatever is with whatever you do. That's all you do? Great. Wow. Was I not able to jump the fence if I had not done that? Well, I guess I wouldn't have been able to carry the cheese out. But anyway, there are walls. I must climb on said walls. Because whenever there is an objective, I must avoid the objective. For as long as I can consider it reasonable. It doesn't look like there's anything over there. But then there's draw distance, so... That's the other problem, is you can never really tell. But, no, I... Th I don't think there's ever really... There's, like, a couple parts in this game when there's money that's just kind of laying around that you just have to find. But other than that, there's not really collectibles. It's just you get money for doing stuff that is just part of the progression of the game normally. So I don't really have to worry about scouring the levels, but 
I need to get out of that mindset, because it's a rare platformer, and that's what I expect out of it. Anyway, let's just get on with it, because I'm going to have to do this part like five goddamn times, so... Can I go around this guy here? Nah, probably not. So why are there just a bunch of sentient steel boxes in the farm level? Like, what's the point of these things? Oh, I guess I could have just gone down that way. So yeah, that counts as a death, because the cheese had eyes and it could talk. Anytime that Conqueror is directly responsible for killing something, no matter how minor it is, it goes on the counter. And, uh, I haven't decided what it will be yet, but there needs to be some kind of contest for guessing the, um... Sorry, obvious joke is obvious. Guessing the number of molecules in Leonard Nimoy's butt. There, I got it out of the way. No, there needs to be a contest for, uh... Can I just drop down, like... Oh, he drops the cheese. Okay. For guessing the number of, uh, deaths in this game. Not how many times I die, but how many things Conquer kills. And any sections that I have to redo, like, where... I kill stuff, and then I die, and then I have to redo the section. Those don't count as more than one. But, uh... Yeah, there will be some kind of prize for that, I assume. I don't really know yet. I haven't thought this through. But there will be, there'll have to be a deadline at some point, like, submit your answer by this video. And then, if you're correct, then, like, I'll go back and you'll get whatever the prize is. Because, obviously, if you guess too close to the end, then that'll be kind of cheap. Marvelous! One more should just about do it! So, as I mentioned last time... This game has a fascination with doing things in threes. I mean, that's... a lot of games do, but I've noticed that particularly in this one. Where it's like... I've actually read a review that complained about that also, where it's like... I think the way they worded it is that, uh... Whenever this game has you do something, it figures that if it's worth doing it, doing it once, it's worth doing it three times. And usually it gets progressively harder each time, which, fair enough. I mean, it's a video game challenge, it makes sense to do that. But, uh, like this one here, you do- you, you deliver the cheese, and then you deliver the cheese again, and then you deliver the cheese again, and there's nothing different. It's just padding. I'm not really sure why we have to keep doing this. How the hell does this even happen? Was that like methane cheese? God. And the rib cage farts one last time. I couldn't have lasted a moment longer there. Thank you very much, Mr. Squirrel. Now, there's something real neat inside that barn. Is it hay? Get in there, Sonny. I bet it's hay. Alright. So, apparently, uh... This large metal crate doesn't want to be on the ground if there's a mouse, but perfectly fine with a, like, bloodied ribcage with a rat tail sticking out of it. Like... I personally would much rather just be with the live mouse than the dead one. Maybe that's just me, though. And is there anything over here other than chocolate? Camera, you want to work with me here?
Oh, extra life. Okay, those are always useful. I actually don't know if these, like, stay when you save and quit, though. I think this might be the end of my adventures here. <laughs> I feel like there's probably a way to glitch that out, but whatever. I guess I'll just go inside the barn. Because there's something real neat in it, apparently. And I remember what's in it. It's hay. Now it's very strange dated movie reference hay, but it's hay. Actually, I don't even know if it's... No, because it's not like the movie was relevant at the time of the game being released, but whatever. We'll get to that later. So, you want some great stuff? Also, I'm questioning why this game has US dollars yeah. when it's very money. obviously British. Like, all the games, all the characters have accents. They ain't turn out quite so and they don't really try to hide that at all. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Big hand is... Yeah. Hey, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay, so I could go back to the other section, but do I have any reason to? Oh, that was a button, apparently. I didn't know. I just thought that was part of the platform. An eyeball? Like... Looks like an eyeball. I don't know why the eyeball button opens the door, but okay. Anything up here? Oh shit. Alright, I do want to see if there's anything else up there. If not, then I'll just go in the door that I opened. Because I don't particularly want to go to poo area yet. Again, I assume that place has a name. Probably something with a really, really bad pun, or should I say a really shitty pun, lol. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay away from there for a while. Instead, we'll just take a look at part of the background as viewed through Conker's head. I want to get a better look at that later, because it looks fairly decent, but, uh, can I actually get up? Oh, yeah, it looks like I can. Okay. And there was a ladder, which I promptly ignore. Man, this area keeps going up. Okay. That I don't think you can actually use yet, if I remember right. Do I even have the ability to dive? No, I think you get that later on. In the, like, god-awful swimming section with the swimming blades. Swimming blades! That's what I meant to say. Alright. Um, I think I have to go up here later anyway. But, ooh. I'm here, so I might as well at least check it out. So if I'm going to be inefficient, I might as well be really inefficient. Uh, anything at this landing? Nope. Why does it exist then? I don't know. the opportunity for it. I knew you had to jump and do it. Alright, I'll be back there later. I don't think I had to do this part yet anyway. No point in climbing up again if I'm gonna have to come back, so. Whatever. I just... Oh my god, I just want to get back down. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just lose, like... Oh, jeez, that was an instant death. Wow. It didn't seem like that was that far. Alright, whatever. Let's go in the frickin' barn. I've said that, what, like five minutes ago? If I don't want this game to go on for four billion segments, I probably should just stop dicking around, but I can't help it. This is how I usually play games. Hey, Bells. I like the hay bales, they're really stupid looking. Hey you over there. Mm -hmm. And sneeze. Hey, you. Apparently there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless of course some guy's jumping around thinking a horse poo is real neat. Which uh, of course it isn't. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Frankie. God, these guys. There's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his. Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I say it's his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I ain't kicking it. But it's, not, it's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass. Frank, you f***ing sick. Yeah, yeah, go over there kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a rock. Now you don't kick ass. Well, I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f***ing paint pot. F*** kick his ass. I, I, uh, okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay. Hey, hey here he comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. <laughs> okay. What, did it become Toy Story? They had to blend in? I think the, uh, concept of inanimate object talking has already been established in this game. Not something you really need to... Oh, does that not work? Okay. Not sure what that's for, then. Not sure why I always think that hitting the boxes with the frying pan is going to do something. I should probably learn eventually that it's not going to. What are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from around here, are you, boy? No, I'm from the 21st century. I don't rightly recollect liking your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big fork right in his. Were your parents related, like before they were married? Right, that's it. I was just gonna give you a whooping. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, so basically just lead this guy into attacking the hay bales, from what I remember. Yep. And because it is me, uh tricking this guy into killing them, these all count towards the death counter. Keep on making that noise there, Frankie. I think his name is Frankie. How's woken in the lunchroom, Frankie? It's alright. Poor Frankie. Am I supposed to, like, jump on him, or is that not until the next section? Oh, the eyeballs stay around. Good to know. This reminds me, I don't know if I mentioned this in my, uh, like, well, you know what, never mind, I'm not even going to lead into that statement. Um, in Diddy Kong Racing, um, in one of the levels, the first one in the, like, dragon slash medieval section, I forget what the level is called, um, Windy Hills, maybe, um, there's a bunch of hay bales that have eyeballs like this, and, um, I actually had a guide for Diddy Kong Racing, which is kind of stupid, but I was a kid, I had guides for all the games, plus there were some things in the game that weren't immediately obvious, um, anyway, it, it described that level as being like, it had hay bales with eyeballs on them scattered throughout, and... I'll finish the story in a minute. And that is the sh this crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that is pretty crap. As kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. 
<laughs> These yeah. line yeah. ratings, I love that. What are you gonna do now? Kill yourself, cause that's what I recommend. Yeah, can you kill yourself? And Matt, we got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. There you go. What kind of friends are you? I just, I, oh, in that case, I am gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. You. This freaking game. What are you doing? <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> you didn't see what got a neck. Yeah, look at you up there hanging there. You stupid bastard. You ain't got a neck, are you? He ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. In fact, I ain't got an esophagus. What well, was that esophagus spelling? I'm gonna be up here for some time. Anyway, the guide uh, mentioned that uh, it had hay, hay bales with eyeballs on them scattered throughout the level. And before I had actually read, before I had played the level, but I had read this description, I was just picturing like a hay bale with a single eyeball sitting on top of it. And. I'm like, why would that be in here? That's really weird. Kind of creepy sounding. And then I played the level, and I'm like, oh, that makes a bit more sense. Kind of. Still don't really know why they're here. But anyway, can I do anything with this yet? I guess now the game allows me to. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll go deal with that then, unless I can go talk to the paint pot. I like the paint pot. And the word paint pot. Like, I've never heard, I've never heard of it refer to that outside of this game. I thought it was just like a paint bucket, but paint pot works too, I guess. What'd you do if you're a hay bale? Alright, well, time to get started on this next objective. Hey buddy. Spare me a dime. Hey buddy, don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? You know, in my own country, I'm a king! Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Every character in this game is amazing. Apparently the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You see how fat she is, bitch. No, You're I'm bigger than she is. Of a bum. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big-breasted babe then. The, the, the big what? Uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Ugh. All I want to do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? I thought you said you had big... Yeah, over there, behind us. Hang on a second. Where? She's a sunflower. Yeah, what are you expecting of me? She's a sunflower with big breath. This was like the first thing I ever heard of about this game, and I was just entirely confused by it, trying to picture how this thing looked, because I had not seen a picture of it, but yeah, it, it's a sunflower with big breasts. What? Not sure what I just missed there, but okay. Anyway, I believe I'm supposed to lead uh, these groups of bees to the sunflower. I don't know if I need to initiate that quest before I start it, though, so let me go over here. Hey, uh, uh, can you help 
me out here? <laughs> There's a guy over there, he said he wants to come through with Sigma. Not quite sure. Pollinate you? That's a bit strange. But go away. Ooh, that big tail of yours is far too tickly. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. Hey, get that big, long, hairy tail away from me. <laughs> I'll suit yourself then. Hmm, be like that. Okay, that didn't really indicate what I'm supposed to do, but I know you're supposed to do something with these groups of bees. So, oh, here we go. So when I think bees, I think tickling. Oh, okay, that works. This is such a weird freaking game. And then they get stuck on the fence. They didn't actually, did they? Okay, good. Come, my animated bee gifts. All over the damn place, from what I remember. Including, like, the very top of the level and all those horrible things. So I guess we're going back up there. Um, I don't understand this wooden crate. Why is it here? I like how, how, how they have to bleep out the, uh, the squeaking. Alright, so yeah, there's a giant haystack dude down there. Don't need to do anything with him yet. Can I just jump this? Is there... Oh, I guess other than the fact that they swoop at you like that, is there any reason why you can't just keep doing this? Oh. Bullshit. Okay, um... I'd rather not get attacked by giant hay bales, so... Yep. And then I just release him onto the world. Oh, wait. Why did the bees... Do you have to do this whole section without going inside? I'm confused. Well, I assume I'm supposed to do something in there. So, I mean, I'll go back in, I guess. Yeah, I just keep hopping around. Because uh, if this leads out somewhere that I wouldn't be able to reach otherwise, then I'll want to do this part first, so... Anyway, let's just do this, I guess, and then... It's just a matter of timing. Oh, never mind. I thought you were supposed to do it, like, as soon as it came up, but no. Seems like you want to do it, like, right when they start squeaking, I guess. Hard to say. I remember a lot of people having trouble with this section. Maybe not this section specifically, but another section later where it's like a similar idea. Again, I'm not sure why you can't just jump it. I still feel like I probably could. Like, yeah. What about this part over here, though? Camera. Camera. Why is there no camera? Final. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just freaking jump it. Like, why can't you do that? Can I kill the bat at least? Let's see. Is it going to let me kill the bat? Yes. Okay. Completely unnecessary, but hey, I wanted to do it. And uh, let's try to not kill this guy, because that's not our goal here. Oh, 
It's sometimes it's so hard to tell when you're back to gameplay. Does that gate ever open? I'm not seeing any indication that it would. Were they just laughing at me for jumping over there and falling, or I don't even know. What? Um, yeah. Anyway, what are we gonna do about this guy over here? What do you want to do about it? I'll do anything for you, because you is my bestest buddy in the whole wide world. <laughs> um, just a minute. Paintbrush can still talk. I guess since he only repeats what the freaking bucket says, though, he's probably not going to say a whole lot. Yeah, okay, but don't get any funny ideas now. This is purely a means to an end. I don't know what you're talking about. And boss fight time. Well, kind of. Not really much of. Well. It becomes a boss fight. Not sure if I want to still attacking it or if I want to still attacking it. That was a sentence. Just, I, I feel like I'm not saying much, and I'm sorry that that's the case, but the game really does just kind of speak for itself. Oof. Assuming there's probably some kind of trick to this guy that I'm... Well, the trick is probably don't stand in front of him and get attacked, for one thing, but, uh... Oh my god. Is there any chocolate in here that I can get? Yeah, there's some. It's like, I really don't want to just keep waiting around for that thing to respawn, but... Come on. Don't seem to have a whole lot of range with this attack here. God damn it. I am not good at this game. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, I have extra lives. And the section coming up is pretty difficult from what I remember. But uh, if I can at least get past this, I'll be satisfied for the moment. But uh, I'm actually going to call that a segment for now because uh, it's already been going on long enough. And there's kind of a big sequence of events coming up. So I'll call it here. Um, again, I'll see if I can try to be a bit more engaging with my commentary. It's just the game really does kind of, like, I can't really add to its humor, and so for the platforming and exploring sections, it's just me learning stuff, but we'll see. And that is the sh this crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty crap. As the kick ass kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard.